Hey everybody, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com. Today we have the glorious Sony 13.3 inch DPT-S1. And what we're gonna do is show you guys the web browsing experience. We're going to go to two or three different websites, search something on Google, and just show you how daily use of this device will handle itself. So we're gonna go to Google here. We'll type in Goody Reader, because then that will lead us to go to our second website. So Goody Reader. We'll press search. Just gonna do this all real time, no cuts, no no bypassing loading or anything like that. This will show you exactly what this device is capable of. So we'll go Goody Reader. We can do pinch and zoom. You can let go of your second finger and still kind of drag along. Go ahead and click that. So that link will lead us to the web page. We're on a standard Wi-Fi connection here as it does not have any data communication 3g 4g or similar so you can see that we have a lot of images and a lot a lot of stuff on the sidebar will be loading up soon and the logo itself will be loading up so it does take quite a bit this device isn't the greatest for web browsing but it does have one so um, you know be gentle with it and just be very patient when it loads and all that. But in the meantime, we're gonna do some pinching and zooming. The beauty of the pinching and zooming on this device is that it doesn't fully render the image as you're pinching and zooming it, which is good because you can get kind of an idea of where you are on the page. If it fully rendered it, it would just take forever. It would move frame, 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 frame as you try to kind of zoom in to get that sweet spot. Totally zoom out. The pen can also be used to zoom around. You have a plus and minus down here. And if we click the more button, that's the little three lines at the bottom of the device. We have browse home, stop, return to viewer, all of your windows. You can bookmark the page, page information, SSL information, all that. Downloads, you can download documents like PDFs and images and all that, and settings. We're gonna look at settings because that's pretty much the last thing here. So we have default zoom. What if you want it to be like a fully zoomed out with lots of borders, you can set it to uh, low or medium or close. Uh, open page. You can pause this, of course, if you know we're going too fast. But you can do things like remove images, auto fit pages, set home pages, whatever you want it to be. Clear cache, clear history, clear cookies. That's always really useful on um, web browsing devices. Clear form data. Reset to default and legal information, we're not gonna look through all this. We actually have a video of us going into each one of these settings on our uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goodyreader. So there's the web page all loaded up. One of the last things, we're going to go to our app store. That'll be the final kind of navigation to another website. So as you can tell, it's quite slow because it is a very slow device when web browsing of course in other aspects it's very fast this is the fastest device we've ever seen especially e-ink to be able to write on it. it's phenomenal so it loads up I'm not gonna lie it doesn't it takes a long time to load up but uh, you know it gets there you see the zoom level is kind of off so you have to navigate around and find things but you can go to the settings via the more button and that is the way to change the default zoom so this has been a quick video of the web browsing experience if you guys have any questions any um any anything you want to add what we've missed what the device can and cannot do what you think it should do drop a line drop a comment here at goodyreader.com we reply to each and every individual comment no robot replies here we personalize each and every one for you lovely viewers and let us know if you have any requests because we take requests here at goodyreader.com and if you say hey you should do this with it you should do that um, anything besides putting this in a microwave dropping it or running it over with my car we will totally see if we can accommodate your request thank you very much have a good day so let's just do some tilts look at that extreme viewing angle that's absolutely amazing this is flexible e-paper I wouldn't go ahead and test that, so to speak, and try to destroy it, but it does have it does have some give. 
it, it kind of has to be because in the middle that's kind of its weakest point because it's the furthest away from any structural kind of plastic so be really careful in the middle not to damage anything uh, of course you have the pen where you can draw 